This is really nice. Yeah, I cooked it with uh, several spices. Really? No, I lied. I only used four. Why would you lie? Oh no, I think it's this weather. It's depressing. Yeah, yeah. It has been kind of wet. I just wish I could get out of my bike more. Yeah, that'd be nice. You know what? I think we should uh, take a flight down south, somewhere warm. You know, take a break. No, I can't do that. Oh, why not? Uh, you used up all your vacation time? No, uh, just flight doesn't exist. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Uh, no, it doesn't. Explain. What humans have right now isn't flight. With propulsion, controlled fall. Without propulsion, our airplanes and our rockets would fall like bricks. What about uh, an airplane that's uh, in a climb? It's not really controlled falling when it's climbing. Well, what you're talking about is a relative view on the control of fall. If you look at the 747 in an airport, these things are huge. They don't just lift off the ground by themselves. They need to have these gigantic jet propulsion methods behind them in order to take them away from the airport. Hence, flying. No. I can see what you're saying. In your theory, flight is in the mind, and therefore someone could simply, at some point in time, yell up into the sky, hey, get down here! And then all the planes would come crashing to the ground in a fit of logic. Now, what you're arguing really in its roots is a glorified ballistic system. Interesting. I guess this calls for a radical new definition of flight. Okay, go. Okay. Uh, an object is in flight when it is not touching the ground. Flawed. How so? By your definition, pigs could fly. You're not taking time into consideration. They just have to jump off the ground for a few seconds. Stop mm. touching the ground. Okay. Well, I can't see I could do any better. I have a good idea. Let's ask the Pope. Oh yeah, hey. Pope, how could one redefine flight so that we can continue arguing whether or not it exists? In memoriam sanctus, tis ex machina, angelica, in memoriam. Wow, I never thought about it like that before. Hey, thanks Pope. So, by that definition, Aeroplanes could actually fly. No, no, no. Slaciderem la mano. Spiritus mundi. Sanctus, sanctus, sanctus. Incantata e alum. Wow. I've never really thought about it like that before. If only everyone else could experience what it's like to have a Pope on an individual level, he'd be able to share his knowledge and wisdom with so many other people. That's true, there are so many needy people in this world nowadays. I bet with just a little bit of love and courage, we could help almost all of them. <laughs> you know what? The Pope's really beginning to rub off on you. Well, I just, I just want to love the world. Well now, which one of you is the Pope? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's the Pope. I'm not the Pope. He's He's definitely the Pope.